17 years old is when I had my first like full can of beer. Something about it made me relaxed and it was it. I got through undergrad, I got my bachelor's degree, got my grades up, I got into grad school, I thought everything was going my way, but drinking was still there, but I thought it was, it was a facade. I was able to hold it together because I thought I had made it. And that was when me and my wife also started, my then girlfriend started a, a living together. And she was just like, you're drinking a lot and I'm noticing that you're getting drunk basically every night. And, uh, and I, that's the first time I ever tried telling somebody, okay, I'll cut back on drinking. So I was like, I need to graduate to wine because it's easier to hide, okay? Not really thinking what I'm doing, you know, just thinking of how am I solving this problem right now? Oh yeah, I drink way too much. I have a drinking problem. I'm willing to admit that. I'm willing to admit, yeah, I, I binge and black out but I'm not willing to tell you that I'm basically every liquid at this point that I'm putting into my body is either straight liquor or it's mixed with something to make it not look like straight liquor. And also I didn't feel like at this point I'm so deep, how can anybody understand me? And at this point I've been lying for so long that if I say this, I'm gonna lose everything I've worked so hard for. And I'd be so scared. Uh, uh, um, mornings before I have to go to work, people are starting to eye me, right? Um, I'm in a supervisory position. I'm starting to be asked, hey, you smell like alcohol. Things are starting to crash and I can't hold it together. Takes me directly to the office, calls my wife. He says, uh, um, your, husband, you know, your husband has just uh, resigned. My wife and I get in the vehicle down in the premises and leave my vehicle there. But she goes, is there any alcohol in the vehicle? Like when I'm there just sobbing, I can't even look at anybody. And uh, so there's still probably half a fifth underneath the front seat. Jesus Christ, Josh, yeah, I know. And I call and I'm a mess. I'm crying and stuff and I think, and I'm, I'm talking um, to, the, to one of the, the intake specialists. And uh, I mean, an idea. I was like, if I don't have this, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lose my family. North Point was able to, to help me kind of get to a baseline but like I was alcoholic Josh. Alcohol defined me. And now like I get to kind of define myself. And the, the biggest thing was, is I was there for, you know, the dual diagnosis piece. So everybody's recovery is different. You make it your own, right? It's learned to make me realize really is just to accept life.